today I'm back with another short video talking about some life lessons that I have learned so far in Japan. Actually, I learned a lot of things in Japan that I can really list down and write an article. But today I just go over some main point and some big lessons that I learned here in Japan. The first lesson that I put on the top of my list is kindness. You know, when you come to Japan, you will really experience this one really fast and early in your first step in this life. People tend to be like very kind and helpful. If you ask them for help or showing you the place to go to the station, so they can show you with very detailed guiding or if you lose your wallet in the train and you need the police to help you to find back so they will spend time for you and people or surrounding they tend to be very polite and kind if you need them to guide you something that you don't know so just keep yourself open and ask for help if you cannot solve something in your new life. The second lesson that I really learned myself here in Japan that is about self-reliance. Uh, Japan is an industrial country so then everybody they have their own job, they have their own work to do and they seem to be very busy. So even the first one I, I mentioned about kindness that people are able to help you in some situations. But if you rely on that, rely on people kindness that you cannot survive in your life here. You know that it was hard for me to look for a job at the beginning. Uh, when I arrived here, I had to spend time to work in a restaurant. And after like a while, I had a job as an English teacher in a nursery school. So then I had to rely on myself. I had to try to search for jobs in the job market. I had to go to like, uh, like a kind of a job center to ask for opportunities. So I had to figure out uh, about my skills, my ability, that what can I do in my life here? So then I try to search for the relevant jobs that can uh, I can really uh, do my best in that field. So rely on yourself, that's really important. The next one that I'm gonna talk about is cleanliness. You know in Japan, every corner of the street, every uh, place that you visit to, you will see the very clear and clean area. I was first very impressed about how clean the park is. I cannot find the plastic bags there, litter or remaining food that people just left away there in the park. That what I experienced really, really a lot in my country, especially in some like uh, tourist area. But here in Japan, that the way people keep the public area clean, that so respectful and the next lesson i want to talk to you is um dedication you know japanese people are well known uh, with their dedication they sacrifice a lot for their job and you know um many women they just uh try to share a word for the family instead of husbands when men spend a lot of time for their job and women they taking care of the family or otherwise the women just really spend a lot of time for work and husband would try to spend more time for the family but most Japanese people I know they work very hard and then they rarely complain about how hard the job is you know, being lazy in Japan really strange and nobody wants 
that people know that uh, they are not dedicated enough for their job. And if you are a student, I think that the time spending in the library, studying the uh, classroom or like extra lesson with your professor would be very highly appreciated. And yeah, that can really push your career up when you show your bosses, your managers that you are like dedicated enough for the job and your career development would be like brighter. Um, the next thing that I'm gonna mention here is about the standard of life. You know, many things uh, has changed a lot uh, when I moved here in Japan. Seeing the simple things like uh, the way I spend time for work and how I relax and also my like, vision of life also really changed too. In Vietnam, really easy to invest to a small business when you have an idea. Uh, but here in Japan, that you can guarantee yourself uh, your life with a job. But if you uh, think beyond that one to invest to the business, that's extremely difficult. Not just only about the idea, about your knowledge of the market, your knowledge of the field that you're gonna work on would be very uh, different. The situation here is so different. The standard of life here I wanna talk is uh, your demands, the basic demands like a house, uh, a car for going to work, uh, for traveling, food to eat, and insurances for your life, that could be like fulfilled if you have a job. Everybody live in Japan, if they have a job, even they are workers or they are toilet cleaner or they are teachers or engineer, uh, they can pay for, them, for themselves if they are living alone or they can really pay for the whole family if they have the like full-time job. So then uh, if you want to go beyond that, like normal people, average income group, that you must really try very much harder. And if you want to invest for business, um, that you must learn a lot about the laws, you learn a lot about the market, as I said. So I feel like the standard of life really changed a lot when I move and live here. I have to uh, re-adapt and evaluate my ability, my experience once again and I changed my demands in order to fit with my current situation and now I am adapting to the new life in Japan. I hope that um, my life would be brighter and I will have more opportunities, more work to do. Let's see how can I enjoy and live here in Japan. Thank you.